What's good, YouTube? This your man, Spill Dog. Man, you know Devin really got the hardest got the hardest fight out of uh Dev out of Tank Shakur and him. Uh, cause you know you kind of look at the lightweights is making all the noise. Now these other dudes, these other divisions, they really ain't fighting. Uh, and like I say, Devin fighting Lomachenko. If he can get past Loma, look like you know sound like that's the next fight him against Tank. So if he gonna stay at one thirty five for a while. If, if he can get past Loma, go for it. You know, uh, I think he should move up, me personally, because he got all four belts. And I keep telling people it's not a foregone conclusion that he's going to beat Lomachenko uh, on, the, on the 22nd. I'm going for Devin, but don't know what's Loma going to show up. We ain't seen him in, in, in a while. And the last time we did see him, it wasn't against the greatest competition. And he didn't look. His, his normal self, but, you know, everybody have a fight like that here and there. Uh, if I'm thinking he going to prepare for Devin like the fight of his life, so this should be a pretty damn good fight we're going to have here. And from where I'm sitting at, I think Devin need to get this boy. I think he need to go in there and, and knock this knock, knock Lomachenko out. I do not feel like he should try to get any kind of decision, anything like that. Ain't no good going to come from that. Ain't no good gonna come from that because like, you can't trust these judges in these close fights nowadays. I mean, you just can't trust them. And that's one of the top ranked main guys. You know, Bob Aaron been in the business a long time. I'm sure a couple of them judges gonna have love from him over there. So either either he need to make it crystal clear, uh, uh like a like uh, nine rounds to three or something, something crazy like that, or he need to knock that boy out. But it do not need to be no thing where he went around, Loma went around, and and, and it's a close back and forth fight. He will get robbed if he go in there fighting like that, you know. But I gotta say this: Devin got his belts the easiest because I don't think Cam Bosis is nowhere on none of their level. I think Cam Bosis. Uh, caught Tia Fimo kind of slipping, not taking them all that serious, and 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 end up getting it, getting the victory over Tia Fimo. And I think he, you know, I just think he lucked up on them belts to some degree. And Devin didn't have to really earn his belts like like you was like you was like like you would think he would have to earn a belt like that. Not not saying that he didn't earn it. What I'm saying is he didn't fight a, a top count of a fighter to get that. The Cambosis is not on these guys' level. That's just the truth. You know, it's just he, he beat Tia Fimo. That was his whole. But, you know, that shit happens sometimes. That's almost like saying Costolito beat Lomachenko. He a better fighter than Loma. Sometimes, sometimes you catch a guy slipping if, if it ain't Floyd Mayweather or Andre Ward. Damn near everybody else done lost one. So, I mean, you know, anything can happen sometimes. But that ain't, that that's not, you know, uh, it's not saying Loma can't. Loma better than Loma done fought way better competition than Devin Haney up to this point. And Loma is the best competition. Hell he he bought he one of the best guys, one of the best light lightweights, period, in the world right now. So like I say, no, nah, Devin didn't get his belts the hard way, but this first title defense, this damn I'm sure ain't no cakewalk right here. In my opinion, this is this is the title fight right here. Uh if you want to keep it real. You know, because the belt should have been either still with Loma or with Tia Fimo. Cambosis had no business putting them straps on. Uh, that's why Devin quickly undressed him like he did. He did. But in this next one, he gonna have to. He gonna have to fight. He gonna have to fight this time. Loma Chico. If 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 Loma is Loma still, which I believe he is, this ain't gonna be no walk in the park. Devin got a big fight on his hand. He gonna have a big tough fight on his hands. And, if he can get past this, he deserve all the credit in the world. You know, uh, you know, especially if he look good doing it. Don't matter how he win, but it, but he do. If, if he really need to make this look good, you know, uh, I just feel like they downplaying what he doing. I think he taking a hell of a chance, and 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 and, and, and it's gonna be in a real big fight. I just see a lot of people really trying to downplay it, like Lomachenko. Ain't ain't no ain't, ain't ain't who they thought he was just recently. Shit, it wasn't but it was it was just a couple of years ago when damn near everybody in the division was ducking him, man. Didn't want to get in the ring with him, and so uh, overnight he garbage now. 
I I don't believe that for one second. I think he's still the same long when he was, and he gonna show that. You know, uh, he gonna show that when when, when the fight happened. You know, I I really believe that. I think I think Devin gonna have to really fight to get this win. Now I don't think Devin got no problem doing it. I think he's going to also even enjoy it. You know, I think that's what he came over to uh, top rank to do, fight Lomachenko and show everybody what he, what, what, that he really the best. So I got no doubt about his heart and uh, him wanting to go in there and get this done. You, you, you understand? But sometimes what you want, what happened could be different because he ain't going in there with no Ryan Garcia or no Yoshino Lomachenko is probably, he got he he fighting the toughest fight out there besides the but besides Tank and Shakur you can't go get a harder fight or tougher fight at lightweight right now the Lomachenko just keeping it real you know so he fighting the third maybe the third or fourth best lightweight in the world this is a real fight uh, that Devin finna be in and and I and I hope he knocked Lomachenko out or make it where he can't you know make it so so much of a decisive victory they can't rob him on the scorecards and then we can go ahead and see what's up with him and tank you know since that look like the direction everybody want to go i mean that that the two fighters want to go in and you know i don't think it's the smartest thing in the world for devin but if that's the fight he want go for it you know uh but i i know this much he got all four belts now if he plan on going to 140 might want to go up there champion you know like i say I, he it ain't it ain't it ain't nothing but tough fights from here at 135 for whoever get the belt, you know, because if, if you get past Loma, now you gotta go. It's between Tank and uh, Shakur. It ain't no, it ain't no easy route. And I ain't saying he's looking for one, but you know, I'm just saying from this point on, from the Loma fight on, it's it's, it's a plus if you stand in a 135 division. And I am very interested to see that fight. I'm more interested in this fight than I am Tank versus uh, Ryan. But, uh, but that's it for me on this video. If you like the video, hit the like and subscribe. Till next time, it's your boy Spill Dog. I'm out.